Equid gives you amazing flexibility when it comes to shipping, delivery, and pickup. In this video, I want to talk to you about creating custom shipping rates. Custom shipping rates are rates that you manually set up, usually based off the subtotal of the order or the weight of the order. You'll want to use custom shipping rates when you want to encourage customers to spend more by offering lower shipping costs for bigger card values, or you ship large orders by freight and need to cover these shipping expenses, or you use a shipping or delivery service that's not integrated with Equid for real-time quotes. Setting up custom shipping rates is straightforward. I'm here on the Shipping and Pickup tab, and I'm going to click Add Shipping. Even when you're using custom rates, you'll still need a shipping company. I'm going to select USPS because I'm here in the United States, and down here at the bottom I have Custom Rates. As I mentioned, custom rates can be set up by weight or subtotal. Let's set one up for weight, and then we'll do another example by subtotal. I'm going to call this Worldwide Shipping by Weight, and I'm going to start at zero pounds and go to five pounds. And at five pounds, I need to charge $6.95. Now you'll see here an add row. Click on add row, and Equid will insert the next level up. That's five pounds and one ounce. And click the and up and go to 10 pounds. And I need to charge $12.95. If I click Add Row again, I can build out this table structure as detailed as I need. So I'm going to go to 20 pounds, set that at $24.95. Now, if I have a maximum shipping level, i.e. I can't ship anything over 100 pounds, well, very simply, I just say 100 pounds. And now, if my order weight is over 100 pounds, I can't use this shipping method. If I don't need to have any kind of limit at all, I can just delete that, and now 10 pounds and up is $24.95. Let's add a description, shipping by weight anywhere in the world. I can limit the availability by subtotal. It's as simple as just clicking there and adding an amount. I can show the estimated delivery date at checkout. This is really helpful for customers to know about when they might receive their product. If I click on that, it's enabled. I'm gonna say that Estimated transit time for my custom shipping is between three and five days. It takes me two days to prepare the order. I prepare orders Monday through Friday up until 4 p.m. Lastly, I need to set the shipping region. And for this example, I'm just going to use the entire world. Click Save and Finish. Equid gives me a nice overview of my new shipping method. And let's go and take a look and see how that works in the store. Here in my shopping cart, I have two items, a dress and a scarf. The subtotal is $68.95, and Equid has selected worldwide shipping by weight for $6.95, and the estimated arrival time is accurate based on when I recorded this video. Of course, this method requires that all of your products have a shipping weight in the product settings. All right, let's update this shipping method to use the subtotal as the criteria. I'm going to click Actions and Edit. I'm going to call this by subtotal. And I'm going to change the table based on weight to subtotal. And you'll notice that pounds became dollars. And of course, now all I need to do is update this table. So between zero and five dollars, we'll charge $6.95. Five to ten dollars, let's lower that a little bit. That seems pretty high. We'll go to $7.95. Ten to twenty dollars is $8.95. We'll add one more row. $20 and up is $14.99. We'll update our description, shipping by subtotal. We'll leave the estimated delivery dates and the destination as it is. Click Save. And now when I refresh my shopping cart with my dress and the scarf in it, my shipping is updated to $14.99 worldwide shipping by subtotal. And here I have an example where my scarf only costs $9.95, and so my shipping by subtotal was updated to reflect that price change. In our last example, we're going to update the shipping by subtotal to reflect shipping by subtotal plus a per item rate. All right, I'm gonna edit this worldwide shipping by subtotal and per item, 
just so we can keep it straight. And down here you'll see that the table is based on the subtotal after all discounts and the range only. Let's change that range only to range, subtotal, and weight. And now you'll see my table has expanded greatly. From zero to five dollars, my per order rate is $6.95. If I wanted to add an additional charge per item, well, I can do that. Let's say $2 per item. So this shipping rate would be $6.95 plus $2 per item. On a $5 to 10, let's again add the same amount, $2 per item. And on the 10 to $20, let's add $3 per item. And on the $20 and up, let's add $4 per item. All right, I'm gonna click Save. And let's take a look and see what that does in our store. So here for my casual men's scarf, this is a under $10 item and the shipping rate has been calculated at $9.95. So here I have a $7.95 per order plus $2 per item. Let's go ahead and change that and add a couple of items. So I've added two more men's scarves, which brings the total to $29.85 with a shipping of $26.99. Let's see how that was calculated. So this is over $20, so the shipping rate is $14.99 plus $4 per item, which is $12, which brings it to, well, $26.99. And indeed, that's the shipping rate that's been reflected. This can be a complex topic once you get beyond either weight or subtotal shipping. So I'm gonna encourage you to check out the Help Center at the link on the screen. But no matter what custom shipping rates you might need, Equid delivers.